achieve this structured sleeve so to achieve this structured sleeve is not a difficult one what you just need is just to fold your fabric and add excess to it just like you are cutting your normal sleeve the excess you are going to add is going to be for the gathers at the up so you you fold your fabric to accommodate your round arm then you had access to it so here i have 14 so at the mid middle of the 14 i connect my curve and i mark four inches down and i connect it to it more like i'm cutting my normal sleeve so at the at the for the length as well i have 14 so it's 14 inches by 14 <coughs> inches so because the sleeve have a curvy shape at the end parts, so I go up by two inches at the center of the sleeve, and at the down parts at the side of the sleeve, I also go up by one inch. Then I connect the curve shape at the middle of the sleeve. So as you can see in this video, so I'm connecting the the curve to get the shape at the hem of the sleeve so after connecting you just cut it out it's as simple as that so what you are going to do to give it that structured look is to gum peplum stay to it we call you can you can call it peplum stay or collar stay so it is 1000 naira per yard so you can manage have yard because the sleeve is not that long and it depends on the size that you're working with so once you buy the color stay you cut it and when you are cutting the color stay make sure that you did not include your allowance in the color stay so that when you are sewing to not be too thick on your machine so this is the color stay so we have the soft one we have the hard one and if you cannot lay your hands on this color stay you can use a peplum stay i mean gum stay you can buy hard stay then when you are using that hard stay, you can support it with krillonite or with bony at the hem. But if you can lay your hands on the collar stay, it is better. So once you are cutting, like I've said, don't include your seam allowance in the collar stay so that it will not be too thick. So after you cut, so this is what I'm saying. You can see that I left allowances here. So after cutting, you just gum it with iron to the fabric then you cut your lining as well because it's going to have a lining then you sew it together you place the upper part then join it to your normal um to your normal gown or, or blouse then you have the sleeve thanks for watching i love you